Hi, and we are going to surf the creepy part of the web again. Now, the special thing about today is it's just a Blogspot website, so anyone can access this. So you, I'm going to put the link in the description so you guys can play with this website yourself. Uh, it's, it, we're, first, we're going to look at some pictures. These first ones are pretty standard. Most people have uh, even been mildly interested have seen stuff like this. Uh, ugh. <laughs> uh, that's from a movie. That's just trying too hard. That's kind of cool, I guess. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, what the? <laughs> uh. Oh, that's. Oh. That's a good one. Hey, apparently that person was really nice. That's a good one. Oof. <laughs> Alright. Okay, that's just weird. That's just a little unsettling, it's not that bad. Okay, yeah, that one's a little... That's just the poor deformed cat. Five minutes of Photoshop to make a difference, guys. Uh... Oof. That one's pretty good. Just a nice ambient picture. Alright, we'll look at a few more and then we're gonna go to some links. Uh, uh That's... I don't know, to me, that, that's, that's a little weird. That's just some standard halloween -y stuff right there. Okay. What, what is that? <laughs> Got some abstract stuff going on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna scroll up for some links here. What's up with all the nudity? Let's go see some creepy links. Uh, news from the occult underground. Ooh. Red Bull gives you. Okay, come on. Okay. Sit. Wait. What? Well, Okay, alright, alright, so Red Bull gives you a news. The adverts weren't kidding. Cost two significant charges. There we go. Slept the throws of seven falcons, though reportedly someone has tried with seven pigeons and the ritual still work. Okay. Dab a uh, male buffalo with the. Uh, Duab, whatever. The male buffalo with their blood, thus painting him red. Slit his throat, consume a plate of seven buffalo wings before he dies, then immediately drink an entire can of Red Bull without the can leaving your lips. The caster grows a pair of feathered wings, a large and strong enough to carry them through the air. As it happens, this requires a wingspan of at least 100 feet in all cases. Growing the wings is a rank 8 unnatural, and a rank 2 self-check merely seeing someone else's. Uh, it was safer to form topless. If you're wearing a shirt, it'll almost certainly rip it apart. And if you're wearing something like a Kevlar vest, it'll probably break the new wings. Ah. Oh. This is so cool. You can, like, view... Oh, I'm gonna bookmark this. You can, like... I've, like, heard about all these, but there's, like, so many. Yeah, I, I recommend this. This is, like, you can, like, view pictures and stories behind them and stuff that supposedly have ghosts and that's kind of cool. Subculture.com Ooh, I love it. I'm loving the title. Virus Watch, Security Info, Fake Patriotism, Image Pirate, Idiot Robot, um, let's go all team. Bank robbing is a dangerous profession. 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 Wow. What? 
now. Well, oh, they did not do with the Jews, they called. Well, they did not do with the Jews, they called. Well, they did not do with the Jews, they called. Well, they did not do with the Jews, they called. Well, they did not do with the Jews, they called. Well, they did not do with the Jews, they called. Well, they did not do with the Jews, they called. Oh, okay. Well, uh. I'm gonna go back to this one. Is that just self close? Iris Hatch. Okay, whatever. We live in a society that has been sold the concept that happiness is conditional. In order to be happy and fulfilled, you need nothing. When everyone has nothing, there will no longer be crime, wars, or aggression. Doing nothing is irresponsible. Make a difference. Do something. Buy nothing. Stop rampant commercialism, global corporate domination, greed, envy, and conspicuous consumption. Buy nothing. Every dollar spent on something is one less dollar spent on something that you don't need. Something that uses valuable natural resources. Something that provides envy, jealousy. Comes if I click on the box. Okay, that's just a homepage thing. Uh, years of work and millions of dollars. We're selling nothing for only nine ninety five. Our product is guaranteed to be the highest quality product available. <laughs> nothing reduces the adverse effects of uh, hundred dollar eaters. It's responsible, zero green emissions, our promise. Our product is 100% nothing. All shipments contain 100% nothing. We unconditionally guarantee nothing. Buy nothing. Unlimited quantity of nothing is delivered within 24 hours. Nothing is 100% guaranteed. Well, guys, you want to get some nothing? You want to pay $10 for, for nothing? Oh, this is like the argument that uh, we're in a computer simulation. I've I've actually read it. It's it, it has a compelling argument. So I mean, take of that what you will. Um, the difference. Hello, hello. What do we do? Is this some kind of joke? Help? Yes, I want help. Listen to some kind of Japanese game show. Are you Japanese? No. Who are you? Jason. What's this about? Ha ha. Okay, so you're in prison, right? Yes. It's not like solitary confinement cell in prison or something. I've got a mattress on the floor. One massive metal door, no windows, no light but the light. And this computer terminal. Just a blank screen and a keyboard. <laughs> Go left. Look, my name is Andrew Donald Layton. I come from Farnborough in the UK. Last night I went to bed at my home. This morning I woke up here, I think. Look at the door. The door is locked. I can't open it. Do you have any tools or anything? And there's a toilet in the corner. In your pockets. There's nothing in my pockets. Look at the door. I already looked at the door. Look, please check the news or something. Are you American? Yeah. What's your full name? Where do you live? I'm not telling you. Look, go to a phone to dial. I don't know where the area code for the UK, but dial and then 02-7946-0781. That's an international call. I'll pay you back, I don't care. Just let my wife know where I am. Where are you? I don't know where I am. Nah, no answer. You sure you're dialing right? Yeah. I don't get this. Yeah, pretty lousy. Maybe not fully set up yet. What's an ARG? Alternate reality game. What's an alternate reality game? It's an online game where you get given phone numbers and information about real life and faxes and stuff. You get secret information, usually a whole bunch of you can work together to figure it all out. Ever play Halo 2? No. There uh, was in... whatever. I love these. <laughs> you think this is a game? Yeah, I think. Dude, you were really smart, like fake spelling errors and everything. Where did you find out how to contact me? There was a website. About chatbots. They said you were a chatbot. Listen to me carefully. I am a real human being. I have actually been abducted. I am being held prisoner. This is not a game. Please help me. Go left. I don't know where I am. Signed off. Be signed on. Okay, what can you do? My name is Andrew Layton. Being held prisoner in front of this computer. I need help. You need to help me escape. I think I'm probably somewhere in the UK. Are you in America? Sure. Please dial 01144 
207946 to ask for Rebecca Lane. Tell her what happened. Tell her to call the police if she isn't ready. Whatever. Tell me a joke. Did you get the screen from the website? Sure. Look, that website is a fraud. It's telling you I'm a chatbot, but I'm not. A real human being. Fine. So, two oranges go to a bar. One of them turns around to the other and says, Well, you're round. That sucked. So, robots can only tell good jokes? Guys walk into a bar. Ouch. It was a gay bar. Do you believe me? No. Please, can you help me get out of here? I've been here for like a day and a half. I think. I can't tell. There's no timestamp on these messages. No windows. I just get water dispensed from the wall every hour. And food through a slot. Can you send a picture? No. What's it like? I'm going crazy. I have a wife and kids. Please help me. You suck. Signed off. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm not gonna... Maybe I'll narrate this. I want it. Alright, so that concludes it. Tank robbing is a dangerous profession. 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 Tank robbing is a dangerous profession.